Welcome Cancer, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the awesome Dragon Oracle Cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty Cancer, let's get into it here. So we want one card for Cancer please, one card for Cancer. Crystal Yellow Dragon. Look at this beautiful dragon here. Okay, so opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. Cool. Pretty cool, Cancer. That is pretty cool. Okay, right. Let's have a look. Three cards for Crystal Yellow Dragon for Cancer, please. Three cards here. I went on the floor. Oh, I've been so good. Like, honestly, none of the other signs have gone on the floor yet. But yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Two more cards. No, oh, I didn't like how that came out. I wonder if that's just one. Okay. Okay, I feel like I haven't got hold of them properly. And I feel like maybe this is something for you. Maybe there's something you feel like you haven't got hold of properly. Maybe. Okay. There it is. Do we want that one? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, right. Let me just pick this one up. Okay, Cancer, let's have a look here. So the first card we have here is Let Love Be Your Beacon, which is so interesting. I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's a sign that hasn't had this card yet. And I clear these cards like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so yeah. Interesting. This is the theme of everything right now. Um, we also have celebrate differences and keep your dreams alive. Okay, so let's have a little look. See here. Let love be your beacon here. Okay, so this like even though the crystal yellow dragon is talking about the crown chakra, right? Realistically, um, I love this, just love this, I'm going to show you this, is that, you know, the heart here is glowing in yellow, and I feel like, that because all the chakras are connected, let's be honest, they're all energy centers, and they all impact one another, in, in my opinion, and um, so in that way, you know, if one's not working properly, it impacts the others, you know, and um, yeah, so let love be your beacon. Okay, tell me more about Let Love Be Your Beacon. On the floor again, dang. There we go. Okay, picking this one up. Alrighty, so we have guidance here, guidance and adventure. I love this. Um... I feel like there's something some of you are turning away from. Um, maybe whether it's some kind of guidance or not, because there's this person here turning away, and the angels like go this way, and this person's turning away. Or are you this angel? Huh. Feel like I feel like this here is more your energy here cancer for some of you there's some sort of but there's some sort of disconnection is what I feel whether that's spiritually or not only you will be able to answer that there's some sort of disconnection and maybe this is the disconnection with the heart right because when you let love be your beacon. It is love that is guiding you, right? Maybe that's what the guidance is, is from your heart here. And there's this disconnection from the heart for whatever reason. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, is this the inner child, right? Is the inner child not wanting or not feeling safe enough? Um, definitely feeling this need to um get out in nature let your inner child have do a little bit of discovering discovering of yourself 
take an adventure, take a journey into yourself here, right? Take a journey into yourself to understand why it is that maybe you're not allowing your heart, your love, to be the beacon what is it that's stopping you from doing that what is those fears what um you know what are you afraid of what is what is blocking you here okay so there might be an in, and, and treat it like an adventure right it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom it can be you know you can have a bit of fun with it right um we've got abundance and we've got past lives here ah there's an abundance of knowledge that can be unlocked from your past lives if you allow it to happen. It can filter through here, Cancer. There is actually heaps, heaps. Because look at this, look at this. See this here? This coming down from here and you've got the hourglass there, but it's closed. It's closed here and it just needs to be opened a bit for this to come through. So there's an abundance of knowledge to be had that you have the ability to bring through. Okay, but with the heart closed, I feel like, see, this is, I feel like this is the heart. This is the where the work needs to be done because it's there. It's coming through the crown chakra, but to bring it in to the intuition, it's got to pass through the heart, right? So the heart needs that work on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. This is pretty cool. Receptivity. Allowing that to come in. Allowing it to come into the heart space here. Um, to come down into all the chakras. To align all those chakras so that everything is working in conjunction with everything else. So that, because if you look at this card here, um, this is like this pattern of life, right? And that's in the flowers, it's in existence, yeah? And so this is what you are as well, okay? So this is allowing this energy, this universal energy into you and to let this heart be your beacon, let your love be your beacon, okay, so that you can bring through this abundance of knowledge from your past lives, it could even be gifts from past lives, um, different abilities, okay, but it is a matter of trusting, trusting that you can do this, because this person here flies alone, and I feel like for some of you that's like a little bit like, <gasps> Oh, God, I've got to take the leap of faith. It's a bit, but this is the inner child work, right? The inner child is like, I don't want to go along. And it's like, you got to do it. You got to do it. And it doesn't mean that there's not people who will support you in it. It doesn't mean you don't have a support team. You've got your guides, your angels. You've got all that around you. But it means that when you take that leap of faith, you open yourself up. Yeah? So, yeah. And this allows you, like it says, to walk the higher spiritual path. Wow, Cancer, this is freaking huge. Okay, so next card here, celebrate differences. Celebrate differences. Seeing how you can work together. Okay, because you look at the shoreline here, right? It is working in conjunction with the other. They're both different. This is earth, this is water. Yeah, you see the face there? That's the shoreline. Yeah? And they work in conjunction with one another. Doing this helps the flow of life to work better. Doing this allows you to lift others up. Because you notice how the ocean here it is lifting up the dolphin. The, the, is it a unicorn? Yes, the unicorn is lifted up in the same sense from the land. But it, what is lifting the both of them is the energy that is being created together. Okay, so understanding that while the differences are there, use those to raise you up rather than bring you down. Okay, so let's look further into this for you because this, this, you know, that creates that timeline and it allows this, the timeline to keep traveling, or sorry, allows you to keep traveling along the timeline. Okay, so celebrate differences. One, two, all over the show. Yeah. Oh gosh, I just love that. Okay. 
Okay, so what have we got? <laughs> Celebration. See? Celebrate the differences, right? Um, and we have this here. See, this is this closing off here. This is closing off and not celebrating what it is um, or not coming together. You know, this is allowing the mind to... Um, to keep everything, you know, no, it has to be done this way and this way and this way. Why can't we just go out in the rain and jump in the puddles? Who cares? Do we have to wear a jacket? Do we have to wear gumboots? You know, why can't we just do that? No, no, no. It's stormy out. We must put a jacket on. You know, it's that kind of thing, right? Of going, just do what you feel called to do. Let your inner child go on an adventure. Do these fun things together. Step out of the comfort zone. Step out of the ordinary. Step out of what you always do and do different things together, right? See how you how you enjoy it differently, right? One person might have this experience. The other person might have it, that experience. Bring that together and go, oh, you know, wow, that was that for you and this was this for me and that is so cool that we had different experiences but you're also raising yourself up um, with that same experience, right? Um, so yeah, having the courage, having the courage and turning in, having the courage to grow into the light. Um, it's really interesting. See, this is the water and this is the land again. Very, very different. But two different ways of doing things. Yeah. First of all, though, tuning out these thoughts right here that are holding you back. First, like this is. Do that. Okay, definitely do that. But I'm noticing here even the water as well. And more of, um, wow, actually though, hang on a minute, from the storm clouds comes this water, right? So, yes, Cancer, from the storm brings in a cleansing. It brings in a nurturing. Okay, let the rain fall. Let the tears fall. Let it wash away everything that needs to be washed away. Don't hold on to it. Okay, sort out what needs to be sorted. Jump in the puddles. Have some fun. Laugh at yourselves. You know, um, yeah, but turn in, calm the emotions, work through them, bring them up. And then let that growth happen. Okay, let that growth happen within you. Let that growth happen around you. Okay, Cancer. So, yeah, this is so beautiful. Going into the silence and living moment to moment, step by step along the way. You don't have to do everything at once. You know, we always start from the beginning, from A, and we end up at B, whatever the distance is in between those, right? We might be aimed to with Z, and we've got to go through all these steps here. So whatever that distance is, just allow it to be. Go into the silence, okay? And this is going to help you with this heart chakra here. It's also going to help you connect in through your crown chakra to bring the information through that you need to bring through, the downloads, the abilities, the messages, and anything else that is there to come in. Okay, keep your dreams alive. Really looking looking at what those are for yourself, right? Making that wish. Making that wish, wow, this is so cool. See, I'm seeing her blowing. This is a child too. Remember getting the dandelions, where is it, as a child, and blowing on them and making a wish, sending it out there, right? But there's this look in her eyes that is there. She knows. She knows that what she's doing is going to actually manifest. She's, she knows. There's no doubt about it. So this is sort of this um, belief that you need to hold on to, right? So tell me more about keep your dreams alive for cancer, please. Yes. Okay, so we've got those two. That one and that one and that one and that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, there's something you've been suppressing, and it could be these dreams, right? Um, it may be that you felt like it could open you up, and you may be a little bit vulnerable if you pursue these dreams, but they are within your heart, right? And if you're not pursuing what is in your heart, 
there is no way in the world that you can allow love to be your beacon. How can you if it's suppressed, right? If you're suppressing your love and bearing it down, if you're suppressing your passions and what it is that you truly want to do, how, how, Cancer, can you ever, ever let anything transpire into what it actually needs to become, right? How will it grow? It's about having this courage. And it's tapping inside of yourself to let that courage come up. Okay. You see, and that's to me what this turtle represents here, going within. The turtle retreats within. And what is within? It is its true self. And then he comes out again and carries on, right? Stress. This can hold us back a lot. Some of you feel like this is what's happening. You're juggling everything and you're just waiting for the balloon to pop and everything's going to fall apart. And it's sort of like just holding on by a thread and hoping and praying for the best. And um, that's not really going to help you at all. Okay, so it's really about breaking free from those chains because often the stress is what we put upon ourselves by keeping ourselves re repressed, right? Suppressed. By keeping ourselves caged in. Yeah, so this is something that you definitely need to be looking at here, breaking free from these chains and letting this transformation take place because you have everything you need. You are the one, right? You are, you, you can rise up here, right? Here's the phoenix rising up from the ashes, right? You have everything you need. You have the ability. It's just about opening your heart up to let it through, all right? So let's have a look here. I did, when I went to pick up one of the cards, open the book to the right page, just so you know. I'm clever, but you know, I have talent, but although it has been known to happen that I open it straight up, but I'm not going to pretend. Anyway, so looking at this crystal yellow dragon. Okay, Cancer, let me just hold that there for you. Okay, opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritual path. About this card. Crystal yellow dragons clear space around the crown chakra of animals and humans and then illum illuminate the chakra and set it glowing. This enables the angels and source itself to see us. Each of the thousand petals of our crown chakra can be extended to connect with a particular star, planet, or universal energy. However, in order for the petals to reach out, the light, the light round them must be pure. So crystal yellow dragons work rather like fairies who blow away the lower frequencies around plants so that they can grow freely. Holy heck, and that was in this card. This is her blowing those lower frequencies around the plant, right? And look at the flower, remember? Wow. Oh, cool. This is so cool. Okay, okay. Um, crystal yellow dragons not only have huge open hearts, but they also carry fifth dimensional wisdom codes for the universe and can download them into those of us who are ready. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay. They work with Archangel Jophiel to light up and expand the crown chakra of all of us at a fifth dimensional frequency. They then cooperate with the unicorns to connect the petals into sources of universal wisdom and knowledge. Okay, so the guidance of this card is, receiving this card suggests it is time for you to walk a higher spiritual path. Crystal yellow dragons are swirling around your head, freeing the petals of your crown chakra from lower energies, allowing them to open and illuminating them. These dragons remind you that you are being that you are a being of the universe. The ultimate is to become a cosmic master. So step onto a diamond path. Wow, cancer. 
this is so cool and you've had the master in your other readings right so yeah um okay the crystal yellow dragons will ensure you connect with those who are ready for the light you carry when you meet people your light will automatically light up the keys and codes of mastery latent within them the time for this higher service is now whoa that is cool that is super cool cancer wow anyway what, i have nothing to add to that what do i say other than to take care of your beautiful selves and go spread your light okay cancer see you bye bye